Ah. Brent, you all right, buddy? All right is a relative term. Hey guys, I'm Brent Rose, writer and now blood donor. And today we're testing the brand new GoPro Hero 7 Black. We're testing it really, really thoroughly. So this is the new Hero 7 Black. As you can tell, it looks a lot like the Hero 6 Black. In fact, it's got the same image sensor, the exact same body, they're both waterproof to 33 feet, but also there are some other key differences, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. So the banner feature here is the improved electronic image stabilization mode, which GoPro is calling Hyper Smooth. Now, it works across just about all of the frame rates in the camera, but it does crop about 10% off of the image, GoPro is saying it offers gimbal-like stabilization inside the camera body. And that is a bold-ass claim, which we're gonna test last. For now, though, we can say it's definitely an improvement over last year's image stabilization. Here you're looking at the taller 4x3 format. It's good for biking because you get a lot of the bike in and you also get a lot of the trail. Now, pay attention to the horizon line. You can see in the new version, there's way, way less bounce. You can see it working especially well on the smaller bumps that just rattle things a bit. It's not night and day, but it's definitely an improvement over last year. The difference is a little bit less obvious in this water slide, but if you look again at the horizon and the trees in the background, and even at my face, you'll see that there's not quite as much bounce. Oh yeah, that's some good spray. Oh my god. Why am I doing this? This clip was shot in 4K at 60 frames a second, which the Hero 6 here cannot stabilize. Now, when we switch over to the Hero 7, you'll notice that there's almost no vibration. You'll see it here in the black bar at the top and the orange slides as I'm going down. It really does a great job of minimizing those little shakes. Handheld is actually a very realistic use case because a lot of people take their GoPros while traveling and they just want to shoot the sights. And you can see the new version actually has way, way reduced shake. And now we're getting into testing against the Sony X3000V, which is the only action camera that has optical image stabilization. So it's uncropped and it's best in class. The Hero 7 really does a pretty good job against the Sony. There's a bit more bounce with the GoPro. You can see a bit more up and down movement, but the Sony has a little bit more wobble. That's exaggerated in this bike test, but honestly that's not fair to the Sony because Sony's bike mount was just a lot looser than the one that GoPro makes. For all of the handheld tests, I was holding both cameras in the same hand, so they should be analogous. In general, I'd say they both do a really good job here eliminating little subtle shakes. The next feature is called Time Warp, which takes last year's time-lapse video feature and merges it with Hyper Smooth, so you've got stabilized time-lapse videos. <laughs> Now, this is something smartphones have been able to do for a while, but with this wide GoPro lens, it actually looks really, really good. The stabilization works, the horizon stays pretty steady, and generally it's a pretty awesome feature. Basically, it just makes the time lapses way, way better, and it's definitely an improvement over last year. For people who actually want to listen to what's happening on your GoPro, you'll be happy to know that the mics have been redesigned. The bass is way more full, the mids are a little bit lifted, and in general, it sounds clearer. Now, it's still not as good as a camera that isn't waterproof, but for a waterproof camera, it definitely sounds better than the last version. How's the audio? Let's see. How's the audio? Let's see. Ooh, I was closer to the edge than I wanted to be. Ooh, I was closer to the edge than I wanted to be. High notes, la 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 la. Low notes, la 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 la. High notes, la 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 la. Low notes, la 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 la. Now here it is against the Sony, which remember has no waterproof membrane on its microphone. So you would expect the GoPro to sound a lot worse, but really it's pretty comparable. La 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 And now back to the two GoPros. If you're always doing it for the gram, you'll be happy to know that vertical video is now supported. Now you were always able to shoot like this, but that meant you had to rotate the video in post-production. Now the way the shots come off the card are exactly the way you want them to look. 
Up next is Superphoto, the new auto mode for stills that basically applies intelligent settings on the fly. So if it's got a lot of dynamic range, it may go ahead and put it in HDR mode. Or if it's a dark scene, it might do some noise reduction. That's all good in theory, but ultimately, remember we've got the same image sensor in here as the Hero 6, so photos don't really look all that different. Personally, I try to always shoot in RAW because you have way more flexibility in post, but if you're wanting to just transfer it straight from the camera to your phone and pop it onto Instagram, this could come in handy. GoPro has also revamped the UI to make it a little bit more phone-like, so now a lot of things are accomplished by swiping. It puts some of the more frequently used features front and center, but for people who are coming from previous versions of GoPro, it might take a little bit of relearning. The 7 Black is also the first GoPro to support live streaming to a number of platforms, including YouTube, Facebook, basically anything that has an open API, you can stream directly from your GoPro to it. Now we weren't able to test this because while we were reviewing this, this whole thing was under embargo, so we couldn't publicly post something online. But in theory, that's an awesome feature. I like the idea of being out there on my mountain bike and live broadcasting my own injuries. Now let's get back to the somewhat outrageous claim that you can get gimbal-like stabilization in this little camera body. Now you can't say something like that and not expect people to test it out. So we did. This is the Hero 7 Black with Hypersmooth compared with the Hero 6 Black in GoPro's own Karma Grip. This is the view from the grip and you can see it's very, very smooth. Look at the power lines in the background. There's definitely more bounce with the Hero 7 in black. You can see it's cropped in a lot more on my face and there's definitely a lot more movement in the background. This is the Karma Grip on a chest mount and on another chest mount is the Hero 7 Black. It actually does really well in this mountain bike test. You can see how much my arm is bouncing, but the horizon is very, very smooth. It's very impressive. This is running both cameras in the same hand. The gimbal is just extremely smooth. The Hero 7 Black, it's doing a pretty good job, but there's definitely a lot more bounce. What I'm seeing is that the Hero 7 does a really good job of eliminating vibration and subtle shake, but when it comes to larger movements, it definitely can't compare to a gimbal. So after three weeks of testing the Hero 7 Black in different situations, right before we were done with this video, GoPro sent me a firmware update, the final one the camera will ship with, which it claims improves the image stabilization even more. Now obviously we couldn't retest everything, but I did do a quick test against the gimbal again. And honestly, I'm not seeing much of a difference from what we saw before. You can see the big bumps on the right, and it's nice and smooth on the left because it's a gimbal. Maybe it's further improved, but it's still not a gimbal. So what did we learn here today? Well, the hyper smooth feature is cool. It's definitely a step above last year's image stabilization, but you can't say that it has gimbal-like stabilization when it doesn't have gimbal-like stabilization. But it does compare pretty favorably to the current king of smooth, the Sony X3000. The time warp video is a really cool feature, and the improved microphones actually make a huge difference in a lot of different scenarios. So if you're considering buying your first action camera, this is a really good way to go. The image quality is excellent, the stabilization is nice, and it's actually very intuitive, especially with the screen in the back. If you've already got a Hero 5 or 6 and you can get a decent price for them, then yeah, it actually might be worth the upgrade. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below, subscribe to Wired if you haven't already, and with all that being said, there's really only one thing left to do.